Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another video. I have a grocery haul, a workout, and, ooh, I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to put in this video, but I know for sure grocery haul and my workout from last night. So stay tuned, and I hope you like it. All right, guys, so I'm packing the essentials for lunch. I have my complete cookie, um, my Power Crunch bar, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I literally eat one every single day, maybe two a day. Yeah, it's a struggle. Um, and I have my taco seasoned beef, rice, and kale because I'm too lazy to make asparagus, but I also like my micronutrients. And usually, actually, my BCAAs, BCAAs over there. And I drink those during the morning when I'm not gonna work out. And when I do work out that day, I'll usually drink an intra workout. So I'll start drinking it about maybe like 10 minutes before my workout and then drink it throughout my workout. So yeah. And then afterwards, when I come home, I just drink my protein shake. So yeah. That's what I eat during the day. Um, for the most part, sometimes I switch it up. I usually have like either turkey or chicken, but I'm a simple eater. So that's kind of where it goes. And then, you know, asparagus when I'm not being lazy. So yeah, see you guys later for the workout. What's up guys? I kind of wanted to explain to you what I'm doing in these videos. So right now I'm on a five by five training split. It's a strength building program I got from bodybuilding.com. So I'm going to put the link to that article in the description. And it's essentially to help you build up strength and I want to do that after my second competition because I've never been through a strength building program. And since I train myself, I want to find something that was structured and that had been tested out, not something that I vamped myself only because that's a little more intense and I didn't want to end up hurting myself. So I found that program. This is one of the exercises in it exercises in it it's a standing military press and in this one i only got to about three reps of one set so that would be a fail because i'm supposed to do five sets of five reps so after this i went back down to the weight i had in the first clip and then we move on to deadlifts and right now you kind of see me twisting and turning i've did multiple reps before this and I wouldn't recommend you just kind of go into it if that's if 135 is your setup and your warm-up reps then go ahead and do it but if you're vamping your program around mine and say you haven't been lifting for a long time one I would never suggest a 5x5 five five program you should probably have some time under your belt with weight training before you ever do a program like this it's been pretty heavy on my body in general so if you have been doing this for a long time, kind of build up strength in other ways than this 5x5 five five program because it is a lot. But yes, I did multiple warm-up reps before this, and that is the weight that I got the 5 out of 5 in. And then we move on to front squats. So on Wednesday, the program consists of front barbell squats, standing military presses, barbell deadlifts, and pull-ups and barbell curls, but I've revamped the program just because I didn't want to put in pull-ups and barbell curls as a strength building program. I think I wanted to keep that more in hypertrophy. So I kind of switched it up myself, but I definitely kept the barbell front squat, staying military press and deadlift in there because I really want to up my weight in those areas. So yeah. Here would be the front squat, and then in the beginning, the, the twisting and turning of my arms, that was just me trying to get a feel for the bar. Um, I'm finally getting good at where I want it placed on my shoulders, but it was kind of awkward in the very beginning, so it's really just feeling it out, feeling where I can set the bar, where I can put weight on my shoulders, um, because it's a very sensitive area to put weight on. So yeah, that's two different looks of, you know, what the front barbell squats will look like and then I go into barbell curls yes it's in the program but like I said I want to keep it hypertrophy so I kind of just threw that in because I wasn't extremely tired yet and I kind of like to throw that in um, just because I like that style of training and I don't want to completely get rid of it for the first eight or so weeks of this program That's that in the summer. never going back to school What's up 
guys. I just went to the grocery store, so I'm gonna show you guys what I have in my bags. All right, so I got a whole bunch of protein because that's what I need. And I usually get ground turkey, the 97.3 by Jenny O. Just because it's easy and because the fat content's low. Um, and it's just easier for me to do that than cook chicken. So we've got that. We've got deli fresh ham. And I usually put those in eggs in the morning just to add a little more protein. And then I have fresh cod. Yeah. So usually don't get fish just because it can get expensive. And your girl has no money. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So that is all the protein. And on to my bread. Which everyone has this misconception that people who are fit can't eat bread. And that's a lie because <laughs> I make sure to get my bread in. So I get nature's own and the macros on this are actually really good. Um, let's see. Uh, for one slice, it is half a gram of fat, 11 carbs and four protein. And I almost forgot my egg whites. I usually buy these instead of getting a carton just because it's kind of a waste if I'm just breaking up the egg and taking out the yolk. So I'll get these or all whites and that's my egg source for the week. And now my snacks, not the Q-tips. <laughs> um, I usually do, okay, so there's my fruit. Grapes are my favorite thing in the world, so I've got a thing of grapes. And I am such a big, like, protein bar type person, so I always get the Power Crunch peanut butter fudge bars. Um, just because they help me get through the day. If I'm working all day, I eat constantly. So I need, like, these little bars to get me through the day. And usually, also, this is what I use to season my turkey. Yeah, it's the macros don't even matter on that. But yeah, this is what I use to season my turkey, and it, it tastes like turkey taco. I've also been crazy for these almonds. I don't know where this obsession came from, but I am just like, I don't know. I love almonds now. And my complete cookie. I absolutely love these. They're so good and usually during prep, I'll eat like half or one of those just to kind of get that craving out because I'm such a big donut and all that stuff. So yeah, I use Complete Cookies and that's usually the only flavor I get because after a while I get tired of any other flavor. So yeah, I bought four, I think, yeah. Bought four of those to get me through the week, and usually those fill me up before I have any other foods. For supplements, I only take two supplements, so I'll do the gold standard way, and me and my roommates split the cost of this one, the salted caramel. And then I use um, Best Aminos by BPI Sports and it has glutamine in it and I just got this one I usually just get the amino acids but I wanted to you know add glutamine so this is what I use and this is the blue icy raz flavor and it's really not that bad what's up everyone thank you so much for watching that footage I'm so sorry that there's like different orientations in the video I'm still trying to learn what's best and I think I completely forgot while I was at the gym that I should probably turn my camera sideways so yeah it looks a little awkward but I am still in the learning process so hopefully you guys still enjoyed the footage and it was clear and you guys could see everything but like I said, I will get better at this. It just takes a little time, but you know, whatever. Like we all have to figure it out somehow. So, you know, when I look back on these videos, I'm probably gonna laugh and you guys can too. So hopefully you found it, you know, informational or fun or I don't know, maybe you'll get a laugh out of it, I don't know. But if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I think my goal right now is to try to get two videos up a week. I won't 
keep to that but that's my goal right now just to get content out to you guys and you know keep me busy like keep me posting and making sure I'm engaged and stuff I think that's really important so I'm gonna try to get two videos up a week I'm probably not gonna go over that because I don't know I don't want to be like recording all day in my life but yeah hopefully two videos is gonna work out um yeah and I just want to keep engaged and keep myself accountable so you guys gotta hold me accountable too so let me know what you think and I will see you guys in the next video